Hello and welcome to the Creaky Kudos on a Monk and today we are doing a review for Moonshine Inc. Now this game has been gifted to me by Clubata itself. They are the guys that published this. I've also got a few keys so if you're interested in getting your hands on this game don't forget to join my discord. The link will be down in the description. Anyway, Moonshine Review. Let's get on with it. What is this game? This is a strategy game in which you take on the role of a moonshiner. You have to um, hire and orchestrate your crew. You have to make the best moonshine in town. And you have to complete missions and earn money along the way, all while avoiding the cops. Now straight off the bat you are straight into the tutorial. Within the tutorial you are shown everything and what you want to do. I would highly recommend doing the tutorial guys. This isn't one that you want to skip. Now as mentioned this is a strategy game. You need to make the best moonshine you are able to. The highest quality and at the most quantity as well. And then sell it around town. You have access to a map and several different locations in which you can sell your goods. You also have a shop in which you can buy supplies as well. Of course you need to be careful though because if you sell to the same place too much, well that place is going to get extra heat, more cops are going to come around and you do not want to be caught because if you are, that's game over. Now there are actually three successful possible endings to this game so i like that there's you know multiple options for this there's also five different regions in which you can take this game as well you have got the mountains the forests the swamps the town and the city which is quite cool and there's over 70 different recipes to learn throughout the game not only have you got moonshine to make itself you've got whiskies and brandies and vodkas too but that isn't everything that you're going to be managing within this game because you also have your crew that you are going to be hiring. Some better than others. Of course, the longer you have a certain crew member, you can level them up and give them an extra ability, should we say, or at least an extra proficiency. You also have access to vehicles because, of course, you're going to be needing to um, move your goods around town. These can be upgraded. They do break down as well. And you also need to be building extra things for your base because at the beginning of the game, you have access to very limited materials. The more money you get, the more things you're going to be able to unlock. And of course, that means you're going to be able to make more and more moonshine at once. At the beginning, you're going to be making you know, one batch of moonshine. In the end, hopefully, if things go right, you're going to be making several different batches of moonshine at the same time. I think what I like most about this game is your ability to have control over your different recipes whatever it is you're making like for instance i could lower the quality of my moonshine but in doing so i'll be able to up the quantity in which i have to sell so that decision is completely up to me i like that also you can you know go to the shop and get the different ingredients to make the different types of moonshine different types of recipes and hopefully you know discover more recipes as time goes on and making this moonshine is actually a lot more complicated than i realized and i would have given it credit for there's multiple different stages as well and of course you are completely in control of all different things even in the end being able able to dictate how much you want your your uh, moonshine to be selling for and one thing that did actually take me a little bit longer than it should to realize that any successful recipe that I have already learned and crafted, well, that's been archived and there was a little tab there. I could just go back in and remake anything I've already made. No hassle whatsoever. Now, this game will only set you back around £16. There is a £20 version as well. I think the price on this game is actually really good, especially as there's three, you know, possible endings. 
this is on the PlayStation and the Xbox now. It's actually been released on PC on Steam for a while. There are some things that I'm not necessarily all on board with and happy with about this game though. Right at the beginning, there was a pretty cool little opening scene. It didn't last too long, maybe in you know 90 seconds, but I was quite excited when loading it up and met with voice acting absolutely brilliant i do think that these sort of games need that kind of thing this game does have side quests and multiple different like missions um involved in the game most of them are little in the sense that you know they want uh, a certain recipe made and a certain amount of that recipe as well so it's really nice and easy um missions for you to complete get a few extra bucks and it would have been so much nicer if those lines were actually voice acted. Unfortunately, they're not. And I just think for me that it just takes out of the game a little bit. I've also encountered a few bugs as well where I've gone into, you know, certain menus, trying to navigate certain things. I've backed out after completing what I wanted to be done, but the game didn't register that I'd actually backed out of that screen and I was stuck, you know, soft luck. I had to... Um, close down a game, reload it. Luckily, there is an auto save feature, so I never actually lost too much of my gameplay. Thank God. But things like that can be really annoying. I understand that porting games from Steam to console can be tricky. Hopefully, there is a patch. There was a day one patch. Um, so hopefully the game does continue to be developed. I, of course, encountered these issues after the day one patch. There's still a few ish issues that do need to be fixed and sorted out. For the most part, though, I've got to say this is a really well put together game. I love little strategy games, little tycoon games. This one has enough content within it to get me to go back to it. There's also a pretty good little tech tree as well where you learn, you know, the different things that are required to make all of these recipes. So I like that it is, you know, a lot more in depth than at first seems. And I'm going to give this game a good 6.5 out of 10. Honestly, I would recommend picking it up. I think it's cheap enough that if you want to go, if you want to pick up a game, you waste some time and see what this actually has to offer. It's right here for you. It's a good little casual game. You can kind of just get stuck into, waste some time and have some fun doing so. And of course, if you've stuck around to the very end of the review, a big thank you to you. Don't forget to comment down below, Red Banana, just to confuse all those people that are new to the channel or that didn't watch to the very end. And don't forget, we have actually released our very own sci-fi dystopian novel called Seven Broken and Bound. And you can find the link to that down in the description. It is also completely free on Kindle Unlimited and it's available on Amazon. But until next time, I've been a monk, we've been a Christy Curious, and I will see you in the next video real soon. Until then, take it easy, and of course, as ever, guys, happy gaming.